Ladies and gentlemen, this is Game to the Com video. We're going to be talking about the GTX 1060 once again. A whole bunch of different benchmarks have been leaked onto the internet, some of them at DirectX 12, and others just common ga games, for example, Just Cause and uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, these results are not in English for the most part, but we can start to discern what they are thanks to some people on different websites, which we'll go into in just a moment. Now, of course, do take these scores with the usual pinch of salt until we do get the GPUs on you know, shelves and reviewers have gotten their hands on it. Supposedly, a couple of stores have already started to sell them in front of retail releases, which is quite interesting. But the official release date is about three days from now. We will be reviewing the cards. Things have just been really delayed here. Um, as you're probably aware, the GTX 1060 is touted to offer performance that is slightly above that of the RX 480. Now we can start seeing some 3D Mark Time Spy DirectX 12 benchmarks which show asynchronous compute on versus off. Now what's quite interesting is with asynchronous compute enabled, the RX 480 and the GTX 1060 are very close to one another in terms of performance, but with asynchronous compute disabled, the 1060 does have a slight advantage. However, when we switch to the graphics score, I would suggest you look at the graphics score, not the Time Spy score, with a faster processor or something along the lines of 6700K, which obviously has very high single thread performance. It's quite obvious that the GTX 1060 and the RX 480 are not exactly neck and neck, but there's not a great deal in it between them. Um, and honestly, around 200-ish points is not too big of a deal. Well, I suppose around 250, 260. But even so, that's still pretty damn decent. Now, in the other results, we have, um, well, a whole bunch of results from Killer6, also known as Hitman6, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Just Cause 3, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, and finally Doom 4. And at 1080p all the way down to um, 4K, you can see that the card does do a fairly respectable job. Honestly, these numbers, of course, once again, just like the RX 480, show that the card isn't really comfortable at that resolution at 4K. Much like our testing with the RX 480, this GPU really excels at 1440p for those who are looking to play 1440p at 60 you're probably going to have to turn down some graphical options for example anti-aliasing or maybe shadow details or whatever it is for that game to tweak it but honestly once again considering the price point one can't really feel too bad I'm pretty sure most of you are aware of the specifications of the card by now. Uh, it does, of course, feature 1280 CUDA cores, and boosts are, well, dependent on the um, game in question, uh, oh, sorry, on the card and vendor in question, but around 1700 MHz seems to be pretty common. Now, for those wondering about overclocking, there are some rumours going around on different forums and some murmurs on the internet that around 2 to 2.2 GHz is about what you can expect out of the GTX 1060, which makes an awful lot of sense considering the base clock has a TDP of around 120 watts and it does feature just a single 6-pin power connector. Now, maybe in, let's say, three months' time or what have you, different vendors will put out their own custom variants which may have an 8 pin, I'm just simply saying they might, not they will, which would be very akin to what some vendors are doing with the RX 480s, which obviously lend additional overclockability to the cards. Now, the GTX 1060 is looking to be a really nice purchase for individuals who have, let's say, an older card now. Let's say you've got something along the lines of a GTX 780 or maybe a 670 or a 680, and you just want to jump onto that level of performance. Well, from what we've heard from NVIDIA on their own official benchmarks, it would appear that this card will sit comfortably at around the 970 to 980 levels of performance, but certainly if you're someone who's willing to overclock, then I wouldn't be surprised if, especially if you're really lucky in the Silicon Lottery and you can crank the clock speeds high enough, 
you wouldn't be able to, let's say, compete with the 980 Ti, maybe. I'm not saying that you'll be able to beat the 980 Ti, but you'd probably be at least somewhat competitive with it. Which, once again, much like the RX 480, you have to take these cards into the context that they are sold in. So, for example, yeah, the GTX 1060 isn't going to beat the previous generation Titan, but it's 250 US dollars. And as I wrote in my um, RX 480 review, which you'll get to read soon, or the actual video, it's kind of a dirty, satisfying feeling to know that you're playing a game like Doom at, just for the sake of argument, 1440p at 70-ish frames a second with everything maxed out and you're just zipping along, zipping along, ripping demons apart at ludicrous, ludicrous resolutions of frame rates. Or you're playing a game like Rise of the Tomb Raider at 1440p at absolutely beautiful graphical fidelity. It's just, it's just that feeling of like, yeah, so little money yet I've got so much performance and there have been other fantastic cards in the history of um, graphics for example the 970 was really good the R9 390 was really good but these cards are even cheaper yet offer even better performance and better value for money so that for me is fantastic for us as customers and I did review the 960 and I really like the card um, I reviewed the MSI version if memory serves and it was a two gigabyte model and it was a really good GPU um, don't get me wrong, I stand by my rev my review, I thought that the card was fantastic, but it also didn't quite live up to what maybe we had our expectations on. I remember reviewing the, um, the 460 back in the day, well not reviewing, but trying out a friend's 460 because they were building a PC way back in the day, and it was just an amazing GPU for the money. And I don't think that the 960s with the Maxwell's quite got that. But I think that the GTX 1060 has been very competitive. So I'm really, I think it's great for us as customers. Anyway, with that said, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.